I have the pleasure of having Ilkka Paananen today, our Supercell. Supercell is one of the most valuable companies in Finland, actually the most reputable company of Finland today. And uh, also Europe's first Decacorn. This is really amazing. So thank you so much for being here, Ilkka. And uh, I'd just like to ask you first about the importance of Supercellians and the hiring the best people and the best teams. Could you please tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Obviously, like we, for us, at the end of the day, it, it really is all about the, the teams. So Supercell was founded on this very idea that the best teams uh, create the best games. And, and you know, games is an entertainment business and it, fundamentally it, it's all about the talent. Uh, and, uh, and, and really, like as we think about it, like first you need to put together the best possible team and then that team hopefully can operate in the best possible environment. And, and by the best possible environment, we don't mean a fancy office or anything like that. We mean an environment where the team can have the biggest possible impact. Uh, so, so for us, it means like things like zero bureaucracy and, and you know, like trying to minimize the, num uh, the amount of process, uh, trying to minimize the layers of management so that there really is nothing uh, in between the team and, 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 and the success. Uh, and then third element, of course, is, is, is time and luck. So the more tries you have to create that hit game, of course, the mo more likely it is that you're, you will succeed. But that, of course, is something that you can't really control. So the, the two things that are in your control is, is, are the teams, like what type of teams you put together, and also the environment. So you, obviously you try to create an environment where these, these teams can be successful. So how do you find this talent? Uh, well, these days I, I think uh, the, uh, the majority of the recruiting comes through referrals, meaning that you know, there's somebody already at Supercell who knows somebody and, and you know, like, uh, brings, brings her or, or him into the, to the company. Then they do some uh, uh, direct recruiting as, as well via headhunters and so forth. But that, that, those probably are the, the two most important, important channels. And of course, like uh, these days for us, like, like usually why people want to join us is that they've seen the, the, the games that they've put out and they like the games and, and they maybe they've heard about the, the, the culture of the company and, and they will want to join us for, for that reason. And, 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 and these days, I, I would say that the, the vast majority of recruiting also here in Helsinki, people actually come from outside Finland, especially on the game development side. So uh, many of these uh, new new players or new supercellians are uh, some, somewhat experienced uh, in already in these uh, these specific roles. So you hire for a specific role. Is that correct? Uh, it actually depends very much on the role. So we, we do like like to hire people like instead of specialists. Like if at all possible, we we want to hire people who can do many many different things. And the reason is that you know uh, one of the leading ideas behind Supercell also is to keep the company and also the teams. As, as small as possible, which like you know has many benefits uh, to it. But in a small team, like you, you can't really have like specialists like in in many different cases. So so we, we actually try to like generally we try to hire people who can do our generalists and and also like our entrepreneurial. Because one of the like the unique things about the Supercell organization is that we are very light on the management side of things and very light on process. And and we often oftentimes we say that. If you need a boss to tell you what to do, then Supercell probably isn't the best place for, for you. So we, we actually like these days, how I like, I, how I would like to think about the company is that I see Supercell as a company of like 230 entrepreneurs. That's, that's going to be ideal. So you have said that you want to be the least powerful CEO. Can you please explain? What yeah, you mean by that? right. So, so it, it's just a way of saying that you know. I just fundamentally believe that that, that the more decisions the teams and, and our people in those teams make, the better. Like, uh, obviously, it, it makes uh, uh, things go much quicker. It makes us execute much faster if, if if the teams can just decide on their own and they don't really need to ask for approvals. Also, I believe that that then decision, decisions are made as close to the customer. In, in our case, that's the player, as, as possible, then that also increases the quality of those decisions. So, and, and, and you know, if, if the teams make the vast majority of the decisions, it, it, it basically means that I, as the CEO of a company, I make very small, uh, small amount of decisions, and the less decisions I make, 
be better our, our organization like executes and works in in my opinion and and it's I, I guess at the end of the day that would actually make me the least powerful CEO so that's one of the, the kind of uh, ideals that we, we have yeah. so you have released four games and uh, you have killed around four, 14 games is that correct can you tell a little bit about the process of kind of deciding which games uh, you're going to be releasing and which games maybe are going to be discontinued? Well, well, first, sure. So first of all, I think we've actually killed like uh, way more than 14 games. It must be like more than 100. Of course, it depends like what do you define as a game. So if a game is an idea, you know, you probably would talk about thousands of killed killed games. And, and uh, but, but, you know, we like, I think we've, we've publicly said that between our game number three, which was Boom Beach and game number four, which was Clash Royale, we we developed 10 games to relatively advanced state and nine out of those 10 they're killed and one went out which was when class class royale um, but how do we come come to those decisions it actually it's all about the team so it's not me or or, or anybody else outside of the team who can like make that decision it, it really is the team and and uh, and you could almost split that to two different phases. So during the development, uh, it, it, it really it, it's uh, based on the team like, and how they feel about the game, and, and do they believe that it, it's going to be a game that people will play for years, and, and could, do they believe that it could be a top ten game? Uh, and uh, but once the team sort of puts the game out for user testing, we use. Uh, markets like Canada, New Zealand, Australia as, as test markets and we call that beta, beta testing. Like before they put the game out for those players to try out, we agree together on certain type of metrics that the game should reach during the beta. And, and at that point when the game goes to beta, we, we sort of say that the power actually shifts from a team to the players themselves. Because if the players actually they really like it, then lots of, lots of them like play it uh, uh, frequently and there's high engagement and they also are willing uh, to spend money on the game then uh, and, and the metrics like uh, uh, are, are better than we had set as targets then we actually proceed to the global launch but if they don't then we just kill the game but again it's ultimately it's the team who decides to kill the game uh, but but it's it obviously, obviously it's, it's all about the players and, and and you know how they how they like the game so I'd like to uh, ask a little bit about the the growth uh, kind of how do you see the growth or, or future? I mean, kind of a uh, supercell. So uh, you have recently um, acquired a small stake in, in, a, in two different companies. And can you tell me a little bit about the future? How do you see the growth? Can supercell? I mean, how does supercell grow? Or do you want to grow? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it depends what you mean by grow growth. So if you mean purely headcount growth, like no. I mean, our our goal is to keep the company as small as possible, but yet big enough uh, so that we can pursue our dreams uh, and what that actually means I don't think anyone knows uh, uh, but the one thing is, is sure that we, we, uh, we have we will and, and we've always taken this really like kind of slow approach to recruiting like uh, we, I think last year we grew by less than 30 people um, in, in total across five offices which re really isn't isn't much and, and you know the, the thing is that in our business it, it really isn't about the quantity of the people it really is about the quality uh, and uh, and the way to scale the business is to make better games, which means that you need to have better teams. Uh, and uh, and and of course, like we are we are trying to put together more and better teams internally. But at the same time, we've been looking for opportunities to sort of uh, scale the business by uh, actually investing in other companies, as you as you mentioned. And and what we like about that model potentially is that maybe that's a way for us to scale the business without uh, growing the headcount internally, which is very close to close to our heart. So uh, uh, China is an important market for you. Uh, sure. Is, is it the most important market or how do you see it uh, for us a player in different markets? Well, China is our second biggest market today, right after the US. And of course, it's a huge opportunity for us. And But they're only only getting started there. But, but we, we believe that that China will become the biggest market for entertainment globally. Uh, it's just a like, matter of time. And, and say, for example, in mobile games, it's, it's very close to actually getting to that point already, depending a bit, bit who, you, who you ask. And, and the key in China is to find the right partners. And that was one of the reasons why we uh, d decided to uh, sell the majority of stake to, to a, a, a Chinese uh, company called Tencent. And, 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 you know, those guys are in a great position to help us in, in the Chinese market.
Thank you so much, Ilk. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you.